Hey guys, I'm Brittany Rivers and welcome to my channel. So today I'm coming at you all with my upper body back routine. We are working out together again today. I got on a cute little fit. I think I'm super bright today. I'll show you all my outfit, but we are working back like slowly. Back has become one of my favorite things to work because like, it's like one day I just woke up and I started seeing results. Like y'all will see it, y'all will see it. But yeah, a nice back in a backless dress oh yes yes it eats it absolutely eats but we are going to go ahead and get in there get in the gym get to work i hope you all enjoy this video remember to like comment subscribe 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 follow me on instagram at madam britney and let's get into this video so we're jumping right into this workout routine i got on my cute little jumpsuit i want you guys to know i am an eater you guys i love food and i am a full-time youtuber so i spend most of my day sitting down on the couch you guys so cardio is super important to me. I need the cardio. I know some people are more so in weightlifting in their weightlifting era, but cardio, if you want a healthy heart, you want to make sure you keep that blood pumping. Cardio is super important just for your health. So I never neglect cardio and the Stairmaster is actually the only cardio equipment that keeps my mind stimulated. On the treadmill is super boring. Something about the elliptical, I just don't like. But the Stairmaster, on the other hand, I love it. Like, you got to stump, stump, stump. And sometimes I do 30 minutes a day, and sometimes I do 15. But the key to increasing your time on the Stairmaster is having a fantastic playlist. So, I also like to play around with the speed. So, sometimes I go up if the song is faster. If we're at a chorus, I go up. And then when we're back on the hook, I'll slow down. Like it really depends on the song, but I absolutely love the Stairmaster, you guys. So if you are someone who you feel like you get tired pretty easily, like to increase your endurance a little bit, let me tell you, the Stairmaster cardio is the way to go. Do not sleep on cardio. Moving a little bit is better than doing nothing at all. So definitely get that cardio in, you guys. And we want healthy hearts. Okay, I did 15 minutes on the Stairmaster. I'm gonna get back on, do a few more minutes, but that's how I like to warm up for my workouts. Like, you see, bam. Yeah, we did it guys, we did it. But let me get back on. Got this little cover up on, let me take this off. Gotta show you all my back. Uh, is it working? Am I, are y'all seeing it? Are y'all seeing the back? Bow, bow, outfit check. Outfit check, outfit check, outfit check. Okay, let me turn it this way. Outfit check. Outfit check, lime green is sus. Well, this is like seafoam green. Bow. So this next exercise is something new I've been incorporating in my back days. So this is a row machine. Your Planet Fitness has these. Like, I've been kind of suspicious of this machine for so long. I didn't really know what it was for. But this is a really good workout and warm-up, too. So the Stairmaster was just warming up my body all together, just getting juices flowing, getting that cardio in, getting my heart rate up. But the row machine over here, this is specifically for my back. As you can see, the back muscles are starting to work here, like, I don't even know if I'm doing this all the way right, but you see, like you're getting that tension out of your back. You're really moving your muscles. So I really only do this workout for about five minutes, just getting everything flowing a little bit. You don't have to do too much, especially since we already warmed up on the Stairmaster. But I'm starting to like this thing a lot, you guys. So now it's time to get that real work in. We are going to start with some lat pull downs, which work your lats, like the area right under your armpit of your back and a little bit of shoulders and biceps. 
So as you can see, we have a nice wider grip going on and you're really seeing the muscles. That's why I love having a backless outfit on back day. Like you can see them working. You see the material going on here. But I'm doing about 70 pounds and I'm doing 8 to 10 reps and 3 sets of these. So yeah, it's not easy at all, but you see the material. You see the back coming through, you guys. Like, it's eating the girlies up. At this point, I started feeling myself a little more to where I was like, you know what, I bet I could lift a little bit more. So we moved up from like 70, 70, not 70, 70, 77 pounds to 88. And this was a little harder, as you can see, like, I look strong, y'all. I look super duper strong. And I kind of got to shake it out a little bit. Shake it out, shake it out, play with it. And we're going to jump right back into it and get this work in, you guys. Definitely do not be too scared to take a breather because that's what I'm doing. Between your sets, like I know I said I did like 8 to 10 and 3 sets of those. Take a nice little 1 minute break. Like this is the time I usually play on my phone a little bit. Like, you know, take a little break, you guys. It's completely okay. You need to recharge a little bit. So your next set can be just as good or even better as your set before. One day I will be strong enough to do a real pull-up. But in the meantime, these assisted pull-ups hit. I absolutely love them. So this is the assisted pull-up machine. So the less weight you put on here the harder it will be because you are lifting up your body weight so that extra weight so i may have it on like 80 right now and i weigh 160. so i'm lifting i have to do the math i'm pulling out my calculator 160 minus 80 i'm lifting 80 pounds <laughs> oh i should have known that but as you can see you can grip it wide and you're working your back your shoulders you're doing a lot of the same movements as the lat pull down here but i really just want to slowly use less and less weight on this machine to where I'm able to do a pull up with my full body weight. That is the goal at the end of the day. So after I do 10 with the wider grip, I do switch to the narrow grip because this is actually working different muscles in your back. So you're getting all that work in and it's not easy you guys. It's not easy. <laughs> But y'all, look at that back. Like, the backless dresses in summer 2025 are going to go crazy, you guys. Like, yes, ma'am. Yes. What do they say? Summer bodies are built in the winter. This is the time you need to build that summer body. But all bodies are summer bodies. Everyone is beautiful. But, like, you see it. You see it, you guys. So, this is the row machine. Like, this is working more so the mid to lower back. You're getting a little upper in there, but this is going to more so give you that snatch. I wish I would have shown you all the exact attachment I used because that might have been a little more beneficial. But this is a smaller one that is like you're pulling it towards you and the grip is a bit more narrow. Once again, I'm in that 8 to 10 rep range. So, if you can do more than 10 or even more than 8 reps, you should probably increase that weight and lift a little more if you want muscle growth. But as you can see, we're just going to keep it moving, you guys. Okay, guys, so we're trying to get those Michelle Obama Sierra shoulders. Like, we want our shoulders to have that little cut, that little cuff in them, okay? So this is why we're doing shoulder presses right here this is actually the new workout i just started doing because i've been so afraid of just like really lifting dumbbells like this but i'm using two 20 pound dumbbells like definitely don't start off doing that much and i'm doing about eight to ten reps again but this is the one that's going to get your shoulders big bow and when using more so free weights like dumbbells you are getting a little more core strength in there. So that is fantastic if you want a little core strength, opposed to using one of the machines that are made for this. But either one will work.
Okay guys, so now we are finally moving on to some of our last few workouts. Sometimes I do these like in a superset, but I'm just doing these lateral raises. This is another great exercise to target your shoulders and make them things pop, baby. So these are just five pound weights I'm using a day. Sometimes I use eight, but nothing too crazy, like nothing insane. So now we're doing lateral raises to the side. So you have the front ones and then the ones to the side. And I did eight of each of these. Three sets of eight at that. And finally, we're just gonna finish up this workout with a core exercise. This is something new. I have not done core much. This is something like I've done in the last month. Before this, I never did core workouts. But these are incline, I don't know what they're called, you guys. But basically, my legs are at a higher angle than my body, so the crunch is super duper hard to do. Oh, a deficit crunch, I believe. And I have an eight pound ball in my hand. So that's actually adding extra resistance. Like it's not easy at all. I did do about eight of them with three sets of eight, but it's not easy at all, you guys. But you definitely feel the burn. Thank you all so much for working out with me today. I hope you all have fun watching me work out. We're only gonna get better, get stronger get faster and I want to learn even more about the body the muscles so the videos are only going to get better but I hope you all enjoyed this remember to like comment subscribe 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 follow me on Instagram at Madam Brittany and thank you all so much for watching bye guys